Well, this morning as I drive to work, I'm sitting there thinking and, and just complete and utter disgust, disgust over the game last night. I mean, it's so dang bad, I almost called my boss and told him I was too sick to come to work because I'm too sick of thinking about that game. Thinking about that game is like thinking about your parents having sex. It's just not right. Bless to keep old George Jefferson in. Oh, I'm sorry, Jordan Jefferson. They both play about the same, I'm sure. But to keep Jefferson in, what were you thinking? Jared Lee carried you and carried that team for a while. And, you know, people said, oh, well, it's Jefferson's last year. Poor Jefferson's going to graduate. This is his last game. So what? This is Jared Lee's last game, too. I've been to an LSU game, and I saw him pull Jefferson and put Lee in, and guess who won? Um, if I'm not mistaken, that was the biggest comeback in LSU history. I was there. Oh, yes, I was there. Cold, but I was there. So anyway, my thoughts on today is, LSU, I love you all. Besides Jefferson, Les Miles, the offensive coordinator, everybody that went out and sucked ass, uh, special teams group, water boy, apparently you didn't give them enough Gatorade, something happened. Um, I, I think the best player of the night was Lee. At least he did practice and stretch to warm up to get ready to play. Because apparently nobody else did. So, I'm not that much of a hater of Alabama. You will never hear any roll and T-I-D-E come out of my mouth in the same sentence. That just don't happen. But I will say congratulations to Alabama. You played a wonderful game. Y'all deserve it. And, you know, you got to give credit where credit is due. Y'all deserve it more than LSU did. And for that, I applaud y'all. Y'all did a great job. Uh, as far as Les Miles, whew, tell you what, don't venture your old sorry ass up to Ringo. And break down because if I said you broke down on the side of the road, most people would stop and get an autograph. But, buddy, there ain't but one person I want an autograph from, and that is the, not Mr., not Doctor, not Philosopher, but the Chuck Norris himself. I mean, you screwed that game up so bad, Les, you could have put Chuck Norris in as quarterback, wide receiver, running back, tailback, safety. Offensive lineman, defensive lineman. You screwed it up so bad, I don't even... It, and it pains me to say this. It really does. It pains me to say this. But I don't think Chuck Norris could have pulled you out of what you did. And for that, you need to speak to the man above and ask for forgiveness. Because I believe even... God, it, it, he's not even a, a, a human, like a form, but I, I believe he cried because he cried all day yesterday because he knows what's coming, you know, he knows, and you know, most people call it raindrops, I don't, that's tears, that's tears because the Lord knew that Alabama was going to win, he knew, I mean, he knows these things, he knows, Chuck Norris knows, and Jesus knows. Those three knew who was going to win. But that's why it rained. And that's why it's raining this morning. Although I see a little bit of sunlight, that sunlight represents Lee, Jarrett Lee, that should have been put in the game. The rest of it is rain. Because the angels root for LSU. So, you don't believe me, read the Bible. Chuck Norrisian chapter 1 verse 1 LSU is the number one team 
and for thine that plays LSU, shalt not just lose, but thou shalt, S-H-A-L-T, not S-H-O-U-T, thou shalt be defeated in a rage of victory. See, most people don't have the Chuck Norris in version. I do. Because I, I don't look up to a King James. I look to, to, to Chuck Norris's great grandfather. And that's, that's the one I study. You know, Tom Cruise with your Scientology and Madonna's Scientology or whatever the hell she is now. She changes monthly. You have Catholicism. Methodistism is that one. Methodist. Baptist. You know, you have all these different religions. Well, I follow the great leader of Chuck Norris. And, you know, that's why I have my Chuck Norris starter kit coming in. But, yeah. I, I talked to Chuck before I went to bed last night. Because I, I couldn't go to sleep. Could not go to sleep. I was so just aggravated. Plus the indigestion and the heartburn I got from those bratwurst at Brad's house. Appreciate all the greasy bratwurst. Although they were might tasty. Whew, they give you heartburn and indigestion. Bratwurst, smoked sausage, and some greasy liquid. But, um, and pork rinds. Um, but anyway, <sighs> I've wasted seven minutes on this video, but I still think that's better the complete than the complete 60 minutes I wasted watching a football game last night. So to LSU, I'm sending you guys a bill for some bags of potato chips drinks, my gas fare, and minimum wage times, say, three and a half hours. So I don't care who pays it, but you can make the check out to Charles Harris, because I got to show him my license, and go ahead and give me some for pain and suffering, because y'all piss me off bad, 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 bad. Still. Go LSU.